Welcome, welcome, one and all, to another episode of Redux with your host, Monkey, aka Cheat Door. And we're, a, we're actually on another Pokemon Academy life. I know it takes a long time between these episodes. Um, well, but again, these are just demos, and I don't kind of want to finish them as quickly as possible because of the fact that, like, who knows when the actual game's going to come out. So I'm like, hmm, what's the word? I'm trying to, it's like, well, milk it is not the best way of saying it, but pretty much just like babysitting or just sipping on this on this drink. But anyway, aside from <laughs> last part, which would have been part 21, as this is now part 22, last part was actually waking up Erica, um, trying to, uh, finally seeing who Professor Cherry is this whole time, getting the, the actual picnic, eating it, uh, uh, eating lunch and everything, Leaf giving me money um, for shoes that I don't really need because I'm like, hey, I like this weathered look on my shoes. That's weird. Um, and then I'm just talking after the whole homeroom, was talking to Leaf and talking to May, and here comes Edge, as I call him. I should have just went with Blue. It would have been better for Blue. Anyway, for him to come in and he's now talking to me, or, no, well, he hasn't talked. He just is now lingering there in the corner, menacingly. <laughs> so, we're going to continue from there. So, let's continue. Yo, loser! The Academy Library, is, the Academy is library since still didn't get a chance to see if there's... Hey! Talking to you! Oh, my mistake. Wow, dumb and deaf. So how clueless are you? Buddy, you've been on Marin's case since day one. Give it a rest already. Yeah, what's with you? He's done nothing to you. Ugh, you two again. So you like hiding behind girls all day, Marin? Can't even fight your own battles, huh? What was that? For real. What do you want with want this time, Edge? Is there another one? Is this another one of your pointless challenges? There's nothing potent, pointless about this one. This time it's for real. What exactly makes this one different from last time? This time, I'm not going to pull any punches. Make you admit it was all luck on Tuesday. It really has a one-track mind when it comes to stuff like this. What's going on? What's going on here, buddies? You guys having a shouting contest? If they, if they were, Rune would be losing hard. Real hard. Oh, God. I really wish Edge's voice didn't carry so far. We've already stirred up a small crowd. Come on, Edge. Do we really have to do this right now? Look, can we do this, like, later? Or do this later? Like, nah. <laughs> ha! Not in your life. Oh, they got close. Doesn't look like he's going to take no for an answer. Lipsies. Ugh. All right, Edge. Have it your way. If I win, you stop all this crap. Enough picking fights. No more bad mouthing. All of it. It's real. It's getting really old. <laughs> I've no idea what you're on about. Whatever. Fine. Like that's gonna ever happen. But if I win, you'll admit that you always been a second-rate trainer compared to me. This guy have an inf inferiority complex, or just hates your guts? I really don't know. You're done whispering. Hurry up, and let's get this started. I don't have all day. Yeah, alright. Even though you're the one who wanted to do this, and do all this. Let's go. We're doing this in the, in, in, in the homeroom? Wait, what? No. What's the issue? <laughs> We're in a non-combat zone. Battling here would be breaking the rules. God, you're such a pussy. No, I don't want to get... Fuck. Are, are you insane? <laughs> Call me whatever you want. I'm not breaking school rules before my first week is over just to satisfy your ego. Bye. We're doing this at, at the battle hall then. Let's go already. 
You really going through with this? I said I would, didn't I? Sorry, what he said was kind of true. Tuesday was just a practice mess. This one's personal. So you're gonna whoop him so bad that he's going to stop messing with you? Well, that's the plan. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting time. Can't wait. <laughs> For a second, I, I didn't think you were going to accept his challenge. Oopsies. I can't tell from your expression if you think accepting his challenge was a good thing or not. Obviously, it was good. You don't get stronger unless you accept challenges. All right. Well, I'm off to kick his ass then. Make sure you prepare. I've been watching his battles. Still can't control his Pokemon like you can, but you've trained them hard and quickly too. Ah, uh, thanks, Harry. Does that mean we're friends? You are slightly less ob <laughs> obnoxious than him. Hence my support. Push it, and I can flip sides very easily. Ellipses. Thanks. Sorry, guys. Need to drop back at the dorm first. Huh? What for? You gave, just gave me a clue. You referred to Blue's Pokemon as them. That means Blue brought another. Probably one from home. And is planning to outnumber me. Oh, no. Then how can you win? It'll be tricky. That's for sure. I think he, we can fight fire with fire here. I have a plan. If I could have your ears for a minute. Okay. Here we are again. <clears throat> Great if... I wonder if they're even going to let us in after what happened last time. I had to wait around this entire time just for you to get change. Let's get a move on. Hurry up and ask them to let us use the arena already. Why me? This was your idea. The captain said I wasn't allowed to show my face here until battle team sign up start. Any banjo from the battle hall? <laughs> Serves you right. Getting all up in, in our face like that. Shut up and ask already. Wait, this means we can't have our battle if you're not allowed in here. That's a damn shame. I'm willing to make an exception. Janine, big fan of yours. Saw that battle on Wednesday. Very impressive. Valerie won't get you into the team any more than the guy's self and grandeur's mint. Well, noted. Hey, how does your veteran have five moves? Secret shinobi technique. Don't worry about it. Sure. So, are you battle team guys doing anything right now? No, it's just me and a couple of last year's graduates. I've heard that what you were talking about. I'm allowing you to arena for your battle. Really? Just like that? But I thought Edge was banned from the battle hall. He is, but you're not. It wouldn't be fair to kick you out because of something you didn't do. Hey, hey, pretty nice, thanks. Yeah, yeah. We're on a schedule. Come in and we'll get you two started right away. Nice try trying trying to get out of this. Unfortunately for you, there's no weaseling out of out of this one. Now get in here. And take your beating like a man. You sure are running your mouth, well, mouth a lot for someone that's already lost to me before. I'm going to save now. Because <laughs> I just talked. Uh, I'll go for the fourth save. Wait. Did I just get... Po did I just see how much Pokemon I have? You sure are running... Okay. I told you. I wasn't, I wasn't serious that time. I prove it to you with this battle. Let's just get over with it then. This is for real, right? About time you got serious. I'm not holding back this time. Wait, do I have different Pokemon? Ellipses. Hey, Albert. You showed up. The grass of the obvious is as ironclad as ever. Well, I'm happy you're here. Even if you're not. Just beat him. There's no need for all this sentiment. Now that's the plan. You nervous? Hey, Leaf. Thanks again for, you know. 
Oh, believe me, I want to see his stupid mouth shut up as much as you do. Never seen a worst case of big fish, small pond syndrome. So you got any helpful tips for me before I dive in? Oh yeah, no. You don't need any, need helpful tips. You can't beat him now, you'll never beat him. And since you already did, this is in, in the bag. I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines and streaming the whole thing to, the, to May. Now wipe that stupid look off his face and show him what you got. Well, all right then, here goes nothing. Ready for a trip to the dumpster? Yep, I got your name on the ticket right here. Be so goddamn cocky. I got a little trick up my sleeve this time. Yes, so do I. Oh, the transition was weird on that. So we got Eevee, level seven. Oh Lord. Use tackle. I use this. I'm trying to see if I can make him flinch. Uh oh. Come on. Uh. Ooh, that's not good. Why you switch in? If you use tail whip, my defense went down. Oh, that's not good. Damn! I should have more speed than you. Okay, I used Thunder Shark, Eevee fainted. Oof. Eevee switched out and Pidgeotto switched in. Holy! Level 18? Well, I think Spark is about to die, but I'm gonna go with this. Damn. Oh, it forced me out. Oh, that's cool. Oh, no. Okay, I did actually. Ooh! And got paralyzed. Forced me out. Uh, this is getting annoying with the force outs. What? I thought you were paralyzed. Paralyzed again. Damn! Was I supposed to win this? Of course I have nothing in my bag. Goodbye. Why do you have a level 18 Pidgeot? You went- Wow! Huh. What the hell? You had six Pokemon? You had a level 18 Pidgeotto? You used somebody else's Pokemon. Here's a Pokemon you have been training for a battle for eight, 15 years. I was cheating, asshole. Look who's talking, Edge. <laughs> the only reason you won is because you cheated. I refuse to accept the results of this battle. Get real. You know I wouldn't have had a chance against a Pidgeotto without borrowing my friend's Pokemon. That's right. You don't have a chance. Never will have, never will. Let me just beat you. You did it. <clears throat> That's not the voice. Did it. I know you guys, you guys could beat him. I got him. I guess I have to give you some credit, Ren. I'll admit, I didn't expect you to win. It also didn't occur to me that you could borrow your friend's Pokemon, which is, I was just indicating that you should grab your Pikachu. You gave me a lot to think of. Well, verdict. 
If I didn't know which ones were your Pokemon, I, I'll think they were all yours. And you had, and you had them for years. I have to suspect that you could start commanding Edge's Pidgeotto mid-battle, and it went, and it would listen to you more than it does to him. Oh, thanks. It's not a compliment. It's power. While power exists, someone's going to want to take it. You were all right. That's all you get. Oh, okay, Hilbert. Look at that. You even got Mr. Sirius there complimenting you. Eh, it's Hilbert being Hilbert. We've gotten pretty used to him already. That's two in a row for you. Think that's enough to put Edge in his place? No. No chance. It's a nice, it was, it's a nice dream, though. But a promise is a promise. Edge agreed to stop messing with you. He's going to say I cheated. Yeah, but this is far from the first time we battled where he promised to stop messing with me. But it's like one of the three times that I actually won. I swear. I used to have nightmares about that Pidgey. Well, Pidgeotto now, apparently. I was supposed to... I wasn't supposed to be like this. Ellipses. Makes it really hard for him to feel, to feel sorry for him. Like, I get that he's desperate for a win, but all of his wounds are self-inflicted. Or at least very avoidable. Hey, Blue, look, you did well, but do you ever think about lecturing me? You actually believe you're better than me? <laughs> Yo, sorry, you're better? Get over yourself already. You lost the match now. Quit being such an ass. You made a promise. You gotta honor it. I have no idea what you're talking about. But, what? but you promised. When you promise something, that means it means you promised. The hell are you on about? Are you this loser's keeper or some sh- That's enough. Ooh, hey Lance. Oh boy. Well, it figures that he'll show up here, but why now? It's you. The battle is over. Hurry up and shake hands. Your inconvenience, inconveniencing the other trainers. That goes for everyone else, too. Unless you're with the battle team, be gone from here. Except for you, you stay. Me? What did what did you do, Rin? I guess you weren't at the expedition match after all. Well, I think this is going to be part two of that. <clears throat> well, I'm bored already, so keep it to yourself. Later. All right, I guess I gotta go. It's like a... I'll stick around, but I'd rather not go on Lance's or Janine's bad side. Or get on, sorry. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, see ya. Oh boy, better buck up for some ranting. Wait, Blue's still here? You, over there. I taught, I told you, I told everyone to leave. You're the supervisor of the battle team, right? You're Lance. I won't tell you again. Leave. Wait. You were watching our match, right? I think it's pretty safe to say that I got skills to get into the battle team. Oh, boy. Gee, over there won't admit it. But I'm sure you you can convince, you can recognize talent. No. But just, you didn't. I said no. Now get out. You're not helping your case by begging us to sign you up every day, you know. It's, well, frankly, it's a little embarrassing. Further, I trust the judgment of the captain of the battle team, absolutely. If the captain says you you get in, then you do so. Similarly, if the captain says you do not, you do not. Do not attempt to circumvent the chain of command. Regardless of my status as a champion, I am the battle team advisor. What's up with that? You're making the biggest mistake of your life not putting me on the team right now. The best thing to happen to the school, so I deserve to be in here right to be in now. You're supposed to be Professor Oak's grandson. You talk big, but you're so uncertain of your own skills that you refuse to earn your spot on the team like any other student. No, oh, the damn thing about me. You think you're some big shot 
just because you run things around it? Yeah, that, that literally clarifies of you being a big show. <laughs> show some respect. One more word out of you, and I'll have you thrown out of this building. Janine, allow me. This is the second time this week a brand new student has presumed to make character judgments about me. And yet, through all... I mean, through your... Oh, God. Though you are unaccom more polite, I find your words far more tiring and worthless to listen to. This is not a position a battle team hopeful wants to be in. Be gone! Lipsies. Wow. I need to start taking tips from this, from these guys and save myself some edge-induced migraines. Now then, our business is with you. You look vaguely familiar. Have we met before? Ah, well, I look pretty similar to Ethan. If you, if you ignore your, our hair, anyway. This kid's a new student. He's only been here for, what, five days? According to the Blue, his name is Ren. Ren. Sure, I've heard that name from somewhere. Uh, never mind that. Mm. He said you have business with me? I'm... It's getting kind of late, so I'd like to get back before curfew. Don't worry, this won't take long. He just wanted to ask a few questions about your team. You commanded a team of extremely diverse Pokemon flawlessly. They responded to your commands with the swiftness of a Pokemon... But champion trained Pokemon. How long have you been training them for? Then I didn't get a word I was saying till about middle school, and I had him since I was four. Wow. It's weird. In this, so in Pokemon Academy life, or in this world, Pokemon training actually is training a Pokemon, like, to listen. Like, Pokemon are animals that you actually have to get them to listen to your command. They can have their attacks, but they don't know the saying half of the time so that's kind of interesting and the, like having these pokemon for like years equals up to the level of experience you might have with them because dude imagine having a pigeon for 15 years this is like level 18 i'm like what <laughs> i could do that in a day <laughs> you must have put your team through some intense training why i haven't any of them except the Pikachu evolved. Oh. Hmm. That's true. Uh, well, actually, only the Baragon and Pikachu are mine. I borrowed the other four from my friends for this specific battle. Crap. That's, that's not against the rules, is it? Well, whatever I said, I say here. I can't tell them about Old Man Oak's Frenergy theory. If he's right, that's something I need to keep very private. I really didn't do anything particularly special. I just told them what I wanted them to do, and they listened. Oh, crap. That was a lie, isn't it? It's always been awful. I've always been awful at lying. Was that all along? <laughs> was that all along because of Oakman's Oak theory? Yeah, okay. Are you serious? Yeah, four of those aren't even his, which is totally cheating, right? You're trying to pull, Rin. I thought I told you to keep your mouth shut. And <laughs> he's gone. In any case, there has to be something else. Working with Pokemon, let alone battling with them, just isn't that simple. Jeez. There's just no belief there. Now I'm second-guessing everything I'm saying. This ability is really complicating things. I just wish I knew... I just wish I knew if it existed. Do you use hand singles or specific vocal commands? Come on, give us something to work with here. I really don't know what to tell you. They understand me, and I can understand them. I'm starting to feel like a broken record here. Okay. These were your friends, Pokemon. Are your friends like champions? Did they put them through intense training without raising their level? No, my friends are just other students. I met them on like, Friday. Okay, you said that the Pikachu was yours, right? What about... I should have known. Now I remember. You're the one with that runt of a Pikachu. Oh, crap. Wait, this kid? He's the one you were complaining about before? 
Small world. I shudder to think of the time I've wasted listening to your pitiful meanderings. You had no idea what you were talking about from the beginning. Then understand me and understand them. That means they, they understand me and I understand them. Say such things. You mount the very foundation of Kabuki Academy. I have nothing more to say to you. Well, let's take it easy. I think he's he was being serious. If he is, he's not intentionally wasting our time. He's direly delusional. And we have you've ever <laughs> It's hard to do his voice. And we have ever more reason to show him the door. What's his problem all of a sudden? It's like his personality completely turned itself on its head when he remembered who I was. I was hoping to get some information out of you, but it's clear that you're just wasting everyone's time. Pfft. Why are you still here? <laughs> Has anyone ever, even once in your privileged life, told you no? The grandson of Professor Oak's losing to someone like him. What an embarrassment. Oh, ellipses. Exclamation point. You could have beaten him, but you lacked finesse and discipline. Even with the absurd level of it, as you struggle mightily. The match was a travesty to watch. Got me immature, but even I can stop myself. I can't stop myself from smiling at Edge getting scolded like that. It's such a refreshing. It's sort of refreshing to see it happen to someone that's not me. Got a problem with the way I do things? I'll take you on myself. Bro, shut up. I'm so high and mighty just because of a few trophies. I get these are proofs. Like it, trophies are proof of achievements. If you have them, that means you are good at something, and it's not a participant. It's a trophy. He has had first place in something, or any of the places. Who knows? But still, that's an achievement. Shut up, man. <laughs> like what? Yeah, I know your accomplishments or lack thereof. Yeah, you might have champed two regions, but how how many tries did that take? One of the Elite Four literally died of old age before you ever beat him, beat her. So I had enough of, of you and your disrespect towards Lance. If you don't get out of my face within the next ten seconds, we're gonna have a big problem. Discretion is better. Is a better part of valor, Blue. I mean, yo, you won't always be able to rely on your friends. They're not my friends. You left. You'll be left alone, and powerless one day, and you'll still. Uh, and you're still just a third-rate trainer compared to me. Get out. <laughs> Thought I was a second-rate trainer. When did I get demoted? And why haven't you left yet? Okay, I'm. I'm sick and tired of this respect. Lance, I'm going to end this episode here. You can go to hell. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe as I keep on bringing out episodes every single day unless something weird happens. I do also have a Twitter that's going to be at Cheedor. And I did just want to say, BFN, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye-bye.